Hello! Today I'm going to show you my top 10 products for under $10. And um, I'm wearing them all right now. So um, the only thing that I'm wearing that is not one of these top 10 products is a pair of false eyelashes. But they were under $10 as well. I don't remember the brand name though. They were just cheap dollar lashes that I got from grocery outlet. And um, what I'm wearing as far as foundation is this Revlon Color Stay Mineral Mousse Foundation in um, light medium. And this is actually a little light for my skin right now because it's a little bit more tanner right now. But it's the only foundation I had that was under $10. I bought this at um, grocery outlet and I believe it was $3.99 and um, it's really smooth and easy to apply. It's not really long wearing but it does match my skin tone really nicely when I'm a little bit more paler. And then the face powder I'm wearing is um, this Revlon Color Stay Aqua face powder and this is in the shade um, translucent light and this is also a little light for my skin tone right now but it is it's okay for right now I really like this because it has this like cooling effect when you put it on your face and it's really nice I like it and I believe this was $3.99 at Grocery Outlet as well. Uh, the bronzer I'm wearing is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Goddess. And I've actually hit pan on it. You can see right there I hit the pan. First bronzer I've ever hit pan on. So I obviously like this a lot. And it's great for contouring the face. It's a matte bronzer. So it's really nice and I would definitely recommend this. I don't remember how much it was, but it was definitely under $10, and I got this at Rite Aid. The blush I'm wearing is a Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in the shade Soft Plum, and I really love this. It's really flattering on my skin tone, and it's a neat texture. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this kind of blush this product um, it's really nice um, and this was under ten dollars I got this at grocery outlet but I don't remember the price and then as for a highlight or a shimmer powder um, I use this essence uh, Sun Club blondes lighter skin like um, shimmer powder and it's got a bunch of different colors in here. I just kind of blend them all together. Sometimes I'll use just that light shade up there, but usually I just blend them all together. And I kind of highlight the places where the sun would hit to give me kind of a glow. And I love the smell of this. It smells like cinnamon. It smells so good. And this is perfect, especially for a blonde. So, if you're blonde, I would look into getting this. I don't know if they make it for other um, hair colors, but um, it works really well for a blonde. And then for my eyebrows, I have almost worn this out. I use this all the time for my eyebrows because it's the perfect shade for a blonde like me. And um, it is the Essence... Um, eyebrow designer in light brown and it's just like a light blonde color and it comes with this little brush which I find helpful sometimes for taming my eyebrows and um, it's just works really well I love that I have a backup for when I run out of that and for my um, eyeshadow. 
I wanted to pick something different than Wet n Wild because we all know Wet n Wild is a great, you know, affordable eyeshadow. And this is also a great affordable eyeshadow. I love this. The texture is awesome. This is the Unforgettable Moments um, eyeshadow quad. And this is in Sunkissed Gems. I got this for a dollar at um, Payless Shoes. And Payless Shoes carries this brand. I also have another quad by them. And it's just as good quality. It's so soft and buttery and the pigmentation is really nice. Look at that. It's just perfectly soft and buttery and nice pigmentation. I love it. And this is a mixture of shimmery and matte. There are some matte in there. See, I even wiped it off and it's still that dark, you know. <laughs> wiped it off on my bedspread, <laughs> but that's fine, I'll get, get out in the laundry. Um, my eyeliner I'm wearing, I love this. This is um, Jordana Fabuliner, and I don't remember the price on this. I think it's like $1.99 or $2.99 or something like that. I got it at um, Walgreens, you can get these at Walgreens, and they are just awesome. It has a nice fine point felt tip and you can get the perfect line with it. It's not waterproof unfortunately and it will budge if you tear up or um, anything like that but it works really well. I can't wear it during the winter time because I always tear up during the winter time but in the summertime I can wear it and it works really well. For my mascara, I am wearing this Essence um, Multi-Action False Lashes Mascara, and this is in black, and it is awesome. I love this mascara. This, I believe, I got for a dollar. It might have been under a dollar, but it was on sale, and um, there's the brush. It's one of my favorite types of brushes just the standard um, mascara wand and it is awesome it doesn't clump well it can clump if you put too much on but if you apply it in a nice thin coat you won't get any clumping it will look great and um, I want to try other mascaras from um, essence because I really like this one. And then the last thing I'm wearing is my lipstick. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks. I get so many compliments on it every time I wear it. I think it's really flattering and it would be flattering on all different skin tones. It's got a real deep rich um, kind of bluish undertone to it. A little plum and it just flatters my skin tone so well and I think it would flatter other people's also. It's called Cherry Jubilee and it's from Avon and it's just this deep beautiful color perfect for fall or you know I was kind of going for like an old Hollywood glam look with my style today and I think it's just perfect for that. It is really rich and really flattering so I definitely recommend this um, that's everything so thanks for watching have a great day bye